Good evening, everyone. Sorry about the slight delay. Um, there's loads of new settings. That was a bit of an um, interesting start-up. It's the new Streamlabs OBS Goldie thing. Hello, Foxy. We've got new things to have problems with. Um... So apparently I should be streaming to YouTube as well tonight. Automatically. I am. We are now live on YouTube. <laughs> so when I booted up the new Streamlabs, it did loads of downloads and stuff like that. And the reason that I've been struggling to actually get to talk to you is it kept throwing up errors um, about the games um, and I'm sure Foxy's can have a look at what games that I've thrown up there quickly just to get us on. There seems to be a whole load of new settings to do with the management side of stuff. Um, I think I'll put it down as X-Wing Allegiance. Something like that. But that seems to be where it's at. Is the music gone back up? Is the music m loud or is it just me low? Any better? <laughs> Can't remember which one we were on last time. Synthwave. How's that for you, Paul? Hello, Van Strack. Welcome. I didn't manage to catch you yesterday, sorry mate, I um, had a very, 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 very busy couple of days. Right, I just need, it resets every time I start the computer for some reason, so I need to get with working out what setting I need. So, volume 4 at the moment. Um, so... Yes, it looks like we are now streaming to YouTubes as well. So the people that um, watch via YouTubes can actually see us. And it might mean I don't have to uh, upload it all the time. So I'll see how that one goes. Uh, go to the painting button. So who have we got? We've got Foxy... We've got Ulfric, we've got Solitaire, um, Paul, hello, Craig, hello there, Darren, uh, Sarah, Paul again, there's a ferret in the house, hi Joe, um, Podpays, and um, Dale from across the pond, I've still got your stuff Dale, and you have a set of dice as well, and it's a Jake Bale, welcome Jake. So, tonight's stream, I've got um, these two to paint. Uh, I will get onto them. I just need to clean them up, drop them, break them, uh, and get on with them. And tonight's giveaway, which I will start with, um, because I haven't put them all the way into the sleeves yet, and I had a bit of a panic not being able to get the bloody stream to work. So, tonight's uh, stream prizes. Da, da, da. Um, usual thing, we have three sets of cards. That is in the three sets of cards that people can win this evening. And we have the Iden Verso Quick Build card. That uh, is very bright. Um, again, Quite an early kit one, that. We have uh, Calibrated Targeting and uh, Delta 7. Both from K at uh, Fully Modded Lighting. Uh, a lot of tonight's is from K from Fully Modded Lighting. So everyone that enter, anyone that enters can win Iden Verso, them two. Then we have Force Choke and Saber Throw from Legion. The Rebel Trooper from the Legion, 
again one of the early kits and the DH447 sniper and the DLT19X sniper card so whether you all you need to do for them is enter the uh, enter the raffle tickets will be 100 as usual and there's three sets of them to give out all the same set all the same cards so thank you for the like Clive um, so yeah that is for everyone that wins if you are a subscriber and you win one of the packs I will throw in a free Legion Darth Vader from the Primes this year so they're a good quite sought after um, Legion card that's the last three I've got so <clears throat> if you win and you're a subscriber you will get that now a bit different tonight if you have hello Dale if you have subbed no, sorry if you have <laughs> um, donated tonight and we are close to doing the dice goal again because um, I have a second set of dice to give away uh, it's the first time we've hit two lots of dice subs in a um, in a session so I'm quite chuffed with that so if you win and you have donated tonight which is one we can actually follow and watch is you will get the choice of one of Kay's acrylic cards uh, if you don't win these Kay does have them for sale uh, over on his Etsy store so you will get the choice of ZZ in very very snazzy orange a shield upgrade in the blue which we did a paint job on one set um, in one of the past streams or Midnight a Mega Leader which again is a lovely card I might actually keep one of them ones for me um, so yeah, so there's a Mega Leader, ZZ or the Shield Upgrade. So if you've donated tonight, you can also get one of them thrown in. They are very nice cards, Egan. I hope your cards have landed with you over there. The, they should be this week or soon, so to speak. So, again, thank you everyone for turning up. Cool. It's good to see. Um, so yes, uh, da, da, da. they're the dice. It's a fill. Which fill is it? Is that fill? That's not fill. GC. Fill. Fill. No fill from Newcastle. Way fill. Sorry. So uh, again, if we hit the goal tonight, um, there's only forty pounds left on the goal. If we hit the goal tonight, there will be a set of dice uh, thrown in as a extra. So anyone that has joined on YouTube or Facebook, you need to be on... <laughs> yeah, you would need some extra, but they do work on that. Because I've got all of the gold ones on my uh, X-Wing. I took all the gold ones out for it. So yeah, if you're on... Um, YouTube or you're on Facebook you need to come on to the uh, Twitch to do it because <coughs> the Twitch stream only it sorry <laughs> yeah I can see a lot of people have done that it, it was the uh, the biggest selling x-wing upgrade at one point so yes <coughs> anyone that's on youtube or on facebook and they want to enter you've got to pop over onto um our twitch stream to do, actually enter the competition unfortunately and hello martin i can see you over on facebook lands i can see everyone on facebook lands alistair welcome um, so, as I say, tonight, I'm going to take those glasses off so I can actually see stuff. 
uh, we're going to be painting, uh, or s at least starting to paint. Yay, magic. Um, I built Padme in that configuration. There's a couple of little bits that I just don't feel happy with and need to clean up before we prime her. Cool. And Cad Burn. So what I want to quickly do is get a knife. I found my favorite knife. I don't ask where it was, but I found my favorite knife. Um, yeah, uh, we've had a good tidy out in the uh, studio room. So I'm just removing, this looks like either, that's where I cut it off the sprue and didn't quite get the sprue cut right or a mould line sort of thing so she got a mould line down her arm which is is that on her armour it's very I'm going to take some of it off in it yeah that's fine so what I also do is guess what foxing it's a wire brush so where you've got the little bits of fluff and detritus in there. Hello James. I'm painting I'm going to be doing both of them. Um Jake. So just where I've been scraping, if I use the wire brush, it uh It just removes it. I can get rid of it. <sighs> or if you've got a two hundred pound, um, oh, what's it called? Thanos, you want to scrub to bits. You get a lot of uh, people reacting to that one. So that's. Pretty much all of the big bits. And I apologise if you can hear banging next door we're doing building work. <sighs> so there we go. So Mr. Bain. Mr. Cad Bain. Uh, here's mould lines. And there's, uh, pretty good. Thank you for the donation, Paul. Much appreciated. It was good to have a chat as well. Thank you for the um, hosting Doom Fairies. So, is there any big mold lines? GW, no, GW mold lines has. I've had a lovely time doing all of the stuff for beanies last week. They could learn a thing or two from uh, the way this stuff's going because that was pretty. The mold lines seem to be part integral into the edges and the lines so that the start of. So the hat has one little bit there. And that's actually really good. So after fo following discussions and certain things on... Um, <laughs> thank you. Uh, it was a hero clicks Thanos um, ultimate chase super duper thing the one in 500 bloody cartons um he was 200 quid when i he's probably more when i did it um there 
they, they pull it in a booster and it's re it, it was really hard to find um, I opened 24 bricks each brick has 10 so 240 boosters I opened and I managed to get one uh, yeah it's it wasn't an easy one to get hold of and obviously with it being Thanos everyone wanted it it had a gem with it for the competition side of stuff it was very uh, sought after and yeah not an easy one to get and hello Tomo good evening uh, and yes James I just didn't like the color of it so I I pretty much decided obviously Thanos is my favorite DC uh, DC Marvel or DC character um, uh, I was keeping it anyway at the time um, I wasn't too fussed about resale uh, if it hadn't been for Foxy asking for it and basically mentioning that he wanted it when I said I might consider selling it I would probably still have it because I did it cool Phil um, I, I, st I basically I have a few of the Thanos bits and pieces left I've just done Thanos and his throne for Marvel Crisis um, it's just he's just my favourite character so I was always going to get a little bit of love So, um, Padme first is going to be white. So, just my usual. I haven't. Um, I've got some of them. But, uh, James, another James, who is my uh, cardboard addiction um, dealer. Uh, I only managed to pick up some of them so far, so I don't read any, even the even the Star Wars ones. I've got Star Wars ones that I've got all but one or two, and I won't read them until I have all of them. So I haven't got the complete Thanos run. So until I get it, um, I won't read it all. So. I'm just going to do this away because I'm ruining Matt's left, right, and centre spraying onto him. Uh, so this is just not going through the airbrush very well. There we go. Uh, this is just my Badger primer. Just through the airbrush to get a good white base onto it. Uh, and on the cloak, I'll show you something as well in a second that I, I think is really, really good. FFD have picked up that uh, all of the boxes so far haven't really been good enough to copy the paint scheme off. But Padme and um, Cad Bane's boxes have a really nice picture that you can probably pick a lot of the detail up from. So that's bright. Um, so I'll just empty that. Cad I'm doing in a grey because he's going to be browns and the blue over his face will actually really work well <coughs> Excuse me, with the, the grey colour. And again, it's just the same company. It's Minitiers Grey that I use because uh, I get litre bottles of it for a fiver and uh, for twenty-five quid, and they last quite some time. Especially through the airbrush, where you're not just lashing paint everywhere, and it, it's more refined. It's the lightsaber of airbrush with paints, or the lightsaber of primers. So 
So, cut in grey. Cheers, Foxy. I need to work out how to do that in setup, mate. Because obviously, uh, I just had to grab what I could, and I couldn't really find anything other than really, really old games. There we go. That is Cadbain and Padme. Padamame. So, as I was saying, uh, I'll come out a bit. Come out a bit. I'm out a bit. The Cadbain box has a really good picture of him just up there, where you can pick the browns and the blue and the, the colour of the hat and stuff like that. Which I thought, compared to the other photos that they do, most of them are just the black and the greys. So. And Padme is pretty much the same. They do look uh, quite easy to copy off as well. Rather than having to bring it up online. So, let's have that and that. Quick flick through to see if I've had any messages on other channels. Also checking to see if the chat comes through. It does. Look at that. Protec talking to itself. That is cool. So the chat's working. that I want to use I've seen loads of people trying different colour creams uh, flayed one flesh and stuff like that for Padme's clothing uh, I'm just going to use GW's uh, Rakath flesh I seem to use it for everything I'll change glasses to close up Oh, he says. Might need to put my glasses on to find my glasses. There they are. Um, at the moment, I've got... I primarily use... I try to use Vallejo. It's just certain GW ones um, yeah, I've got into the habit of using all the time. I have probably half I've got all of my base colors into dropper bottles uh, we sell the dropper bottles and I have hundreds of them so all of my all of my base colors including things like the um, the wraith bone and everything I drop over I peel the sticker off the pot and put it onto the um, the bottle all of my washes I have two sets of washes um, I have some in our uh, fancy things but I also have washes in dropper bottles as well because I airbrush washes and when I'm airbrushing a, a, a wash I don't really want to be hammering it out of a uh, a big bottle so boots, belt and clock and I'll get some of my flow improver So I'm using uh, Army Paint Airbrush Medium just as a, uh, a paint thinner instead of water. I tend to use that because two reasons. It, it lets the paint blend a lot better, but it also slows the drying time down so you can get a smooth coat if needs be.
so. Again, we're still testing the um, Da Vinci brushes that have been through the ringer this week with the indom <coughs> Indomitus set that I've been painting. hoping to get um, a bit of work done with them and we also have possibly um, a painting giveaway or a couple of painting giveaways coming up rather than it just being we took on board what one of our winners last week said um, who comes along for the painting rather than as much for the promos so he he gave us a good idea about actually having some painting product as the promo wins, uh, the prize wins, sorry. So we might start doing that on alternate days sort of thing. So uh, possibly a, a, a painting product on Thursdays and promos on the Wednesday shows. So this is just pure Rakath flesh um, with a bit of thinning, there's no added colours to it, I haven't mixed it or anything like that, but what I can do is, once it's all done, I would like to be able to uh, do a bit of a dry brush so it lightens it up a bit. So I've gone a little bit darker with the prospect of doing a, a light wash and uh, um, a dry brush after the light wash just to bring it back in so just a belt and the, I'm presuming all the pouches are done the pouches are done in all of the same colors so that's good she has another pistol in her belt Dual wielding, it's interesting. What's she got? Yeah, don't know if that was a mistake. Hmm, interesting. concentrating again you can tell, what, tell when I'm concentrating because I stopped talking so that's the belt I know that is very bright on the screen as well I get this done and drop all that CAD cameras. that's a lot brighter than I thought it would be so with the clock being um, heavily textured, I've watered it down a little bit more just to make sure it goes into all of the, the nooks and the crannies. So we can hit it with a wash and that should bring that in a little bit better. paint on my brush 
<laughs> Dub kit, wow. That is, even for you, that's bad. Okay. How are you keeping anywhere, Matt? So, <clears throat> excuse me, over the last couple of, well, at least a month, um, one of my good friends, Mr. Snowden, um, obviously picked up a, another couple of games, and the running joke at the moment is he, he keeps getting in, getting us all involved in new games, and it's all Snowy's fault, always Snowy's fault. Uh, but it's it's been a bit of an eye opener for some of the indie games that are kicking about. We've opened a protect group for indie games and to see what's out there. It has oh school oh. Um, do, does anyone know of any indie games that are worth looking at? Is there anything that's caught people's attention? Have they seen anything that's worth a shout out or worth time investing in? Not necessarily by jumping in and buying, but is there anything out there that they think it's worth a look at? Um, ones that we've looked at so far have been Mythos, that quite a few of us bought into. Uh, it looks an interesting skirmishy type game. Um, there's a few of well, a few people in our gaming group that have gone into uh, Wild West Exodus. I'm not looking at Foxy. Um, Conflict Forty Seven by Warlord Games is another one that we're picking up to try. We're going to be doing all kinds of painting and stuff sorry about that phone calls and everything phone calls uh, Just letting the caller know that I'm on the doing a stream. These live streams and all that malarkey. So, see, other than a little bit under the chin, I think. Batman miniatures game. I do have some of that, you know, Tomo. And you got me interested in it ages ago. Um, I do have uh, Bane and some of his crew. So that's the cream done. Cool. That might be one we have a look. I'm really interested. It's, I know it may be a bit of a rare, uh, a running joke and that, but 
I d it is really cool that I'm seeing a lot of new games. I've been very, very... Uh, focused on one or two games. So, yeah. Uh, I've got... I've got a couple of bits and pieces. So what did we get? We got Batman Miniatures game. Yep, we'll have a look at that one. Battletech. I do fancy Battletech. It's just hard finding the 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 bits for it. Uh, and going down Infinity. I'll order a Blooming Code One starter set, and you can give me a game at some point. <laughs> yes, uh, I've had my, what you've shown us and the bits and pieces out there for um, um, it's, it's hard to explain, it's, it's like having your eyes opened sort of thing, sorry I'm just going to start on CAD. Uh, seeing there's more out there and a lot of it yeah giant uh, GKR I actually nearly bought that at Expo uh, Dead, uh, Steve Dirt was one of the people that uh, was interested in it yeah I think we need to find the rule set I know there's, I think there's cards and stuff, that, and I do, I, I like the cards, I know it's, um, it's, yeah, I just need it to be relatively good, and easy for me to learn, again. I played a couple of games with Dead Stay, uh, but I wasn't sold, because I couldn't get hold of some of the, uh, Basically, the robots that I wanted to play, cause uh, from playing BattleTech and stuff like that. But as I said, there is. Yeah, I know. Okay, I have looked at. I've seen it on eBay and stuff like that. And the game itself, pretty reasonably priced. But then you look down, and it's like thirty-five quid for the postage. In like, <laughs> so yeah, Snowy, the BattleTech stuff probably would do well. And I could probably see myself uh, getting into that. I don't know Mac likes it. And I've got CAD. Is it CAV? Sorry, not CAD. Um, so I've got a lot of stuff from them as well. And yeah, I, I probably was mm, blinkered to a lot of the games out there. If it wasn't an FFG game for a long time. GW took time to break me a bit, um, and it was only because of uh, 40k. But yeah, it's been a an eye-opening lockdown. So Snowy got us talking to some lads or into a group from uh, an event called Gotham to Somalia. And they play all sorts. They take it to a whole nother level. Um, and some of the stuff that I've seen that they've got um, is actually really good and really interested me. Um, so that's where the uh, code, code 1 for Infinity. I've been asking on there about it. Yeah, Paul's got flaky pastry on here. He's got mechs versus minions, I'm sure we said. Um, I might get him to give us a game at some point. But yeah, I've had a look at um, another one that cropped up today, and it was about when I first started playing about it. Uh, playing board, uh, tabletop games of any kind. Um, is Carnivale, or Carnivale. Ah, cool. So, yeah. 
Oh yeah, why didn't I think? So, let's have a look. I'm just doing the browns. I've done the browns on his trousers. I don't think I should have done his boots the same colour, but I can um, recoat that or wash that back a bit. And my camera's definitely not in the right place again. I need to set my cameras properly. I'm almost certain I had mechs versus minions in a bulk lot. And I'm almost certain that it was one of those times where I needed stock moving rather than um, looking at all the games to keep myself. And I think that was one that got the, basically got cut from the uh, the stuff that I wanted to keep, unfortunately. So leather is different colours, but for some reason his metalwork is the same colour as, yeah I'm not doing that, let me have a look. just finished watching um, season 7 of Clone Wars and um, yeah gobsmacked is an understatement so yeah that's a better inner um, I'm gonna go with that all in the metal work then his fingers in the blue So dark. So even off the FFG website, there's three different colour schemes for him. So I think it's going to be a bit of a uh, carte blanche with him. Um, So this is just a mix of Rakath and the other one to get a brown base coat down. And I'm going to wash it to try and get the the colour changes that I need. It's only a slight tone. I don't know if you can. It may even look the same. There you go. Slight tone different. Yes, um, I painted a Bad Batch. Uh, one of my friends sent me a Bad Batch um, print set. I uh, painted that without knowing who they were uh, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, yeah, I'd be definitely having a set of them for myself now. I may be going to clones for Legion. I don't know if don't know why or um, or anything like that. Not that they're overpowered and everyone's complaining about them, but they're overpowered and everyone's complaining about them. So I've just, as I say, I've just mixed a bit of uh, Rakath flesh with the brown to make it slightly like that but there's a good chance I probably would get away with just washing to get the colour differences
And now looking at where the brown goes compared to everything else, I'm actually thinking that I could have probably airbrushed the brown into place because they're recovering is going to be covered in the brown and then slightly different picked out so all of this in fact uh, where's the big brush Ooh. one of the da Vinci's has run off is it a da Vinci? Rosemary and Co. Um, haven't used any of my Rosemary and Co's yet. First time. So is there any other games people think about that would be fitting to indie games we've got um the other ones on the go are monster apocalypse which you're going to see some of um riot quest which a couple of us are getting into um what, what else are we being dragged into is foxy There's a new Aliens game due out that we've been looking at. Get a bit of a, uh, a bit of a snipe on, see if we can get a demo copy and get some uh, games in of it. That comes out mid next month. Yeah, Mythos looks really good. Um, I'm probably going to be painting some of that up on the stream soon. Uh, I got my I've got my squad built. Dan, your squad's here. Whenever you can pop over. Um, who else has have I got? Dan. Um, Dan, Dan. Yes, aliens. So it was Dan. Paul is in the second batch. Bull action, I've got my army and I have got a painted German army and some Conflict 47 bits and pieces. Parabellum. Conquest. <clears throat> uh, yes, that's... <coughs> oh, excuse me. So, hopefully, in the next week or two, we are going to be starting a tale of four gamers. So, basically, four of us are starting down the world of... The Parabellum's Conquest, The Last Argument of Kings board game, uh, miniatures game. Parabellum have sent us, basically, sent us a starter bundle for each one of the factions uh, to get us started. Uh, Protech are also going to support our little group for doing it. Uh, so at the moment we've got a set of troops and a leader to um, to build for each of the factions. So uh, there is myself who has gone with the the lovely, lovely Vikings or the Nords, Mr. Snowden. Is taking the uh, dwarves or the dugon as they're called. Dugon, yeah. And 
Foxy has taken the spires, which are they look like dark elf, evilly type people. And oh, Dead Sea was the other one. That was it for Mythos. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, the look look interesting oh and um, Dale has chosen to go with the hundred kingdoms which are basically armies of men the army of men uh, and it looks good yeah um, I, I've got um, Street Fighter backed, but unfortunately I don't have it backed for myself, do I, Tomo? But I'm sure we'll get some games in from somewhere. His hat indifferent. So his hat's more an oilier, like an oil skin hat. Um, did you back it as well, Foxy? Well, the other one we will look at um, was Snowy found someone doing all of the ep epic miniatures. Obviously, the game's out of print many, many, many moons ago, but there is a abundance of third party epic type miniatures out there that you can print yourself. <coughs> and the ones we saw that someone had done in Gotham to Somalia looked fantastic. Fully painted, ready to rumble. So, and when you see it already painted, ready to go, it's a lot more appealing. I've got Moonstone. I can possibly even still get hold of some. That did, I'll be honest, I did like the look of Moonstone. I need a dark silver. Oops. Gunmetal grey. Gunmetal grey or steel. I'm going to go with steel. Yeah, um... They come through one of the trade accounts that I have as well. Which is always good for a bit of discount. So this is just um, Vallejo Metal Colour Steel. That's the colour it comes out at the top. Two drops of that. do is to save all of the going really careful and not getting it anywhere sort of thing I'll just do a good coat of it then I'll come back in with the probably with the Ulthan Grey or the the new Storm Horse Silver and pick out his fingers so 
so I can put the glue over it. One of my favourite old time figures was painting was back when Imperial Assault was out and I did uh, one of the uh, Rebel Officers, sorry Imperial Officers, Rebel Officers? Yeah. Um, and I did the Rebel Officer as um, a Chiss Officer and it looked class. Do like the chess one, probably one of my favorite races in the Star Wars. Um, I also play a chess assassin in the Star Wars roleplay game. Halo Ground Command, I've never heard of that one. I will have a look. six people on board thank you everyone for uh, coming and watching tonight uh, it's absolutely amazing going back to the start of lockdown we, we were getting like five and six people um, to get this sort of numbers is fantastic it is all appreciated and we're going to do it we've got bits and pieces sorted for for up and coming um, Facebook, Facebook, uh, it's not Facebook actually. Um, YouTube uh, videos for some of the companies that we're doing bits and pieces for. We've got one due, another one due for. Spartan Games, the game that killed the company. Oh. I did not know this one. Um, who took over Spartan? Oh, uh, where, did Wayland get them? War Cradle, sorry. Metal work. Buckle, belt, face. So yeah, spent a fortune on the licensed small company who made some nice games, made a two faction space battle game when they already had Firestorm on that, oh uh, yeah. I may remember you telling us about that before. They've got the belt. Yeah, the belt's metallic for some reason. Oops, push the brush back on itself, never good. So, and then a couple of buttons that are metal.
That is a cracking brush, by the way. Rosemary and Co. Series 22. Um, I'm going over there when it's right there. Um, two different coloured browns. There's a light brown in the hat, so I can do that in a minute. A couple of bits of silver. Uh, there. on I'll put a clasp on that I don't know if it is a clasp but poetic license and all that sort of stuff so that's on that I'm gonna quickly do if I remember rightly Padme has one gun, two gun, and arm pads to do in silver. So, trying not to just splodge it on this one. It is a very fine print, this one. No, oh, very fine uh, print. Very fine press, or whatever you want to call it. So, am I going to be better doing the armbands in a different... The armbands will go in this as well, and then I can highlight them lighter silver afterwards. Super fine detail again. So what time is it? We've still got 22 minutes for the uh, giveaway. I'll do Padme's armbands and then I will quickly do a recap of what the giveaway is today. She is quite fiddly. again so, uh, on, uh, no, no. so
You can't really see. Let me see if I can dull it down a second. Oh, here we go. Uh, Snowy's asked about, uh, said about Malifaux, um, and it's a good idea. It's a good, it sounds like a good, great game. The only downside is it's very competitive from what we can tell. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. What I'm saying is unless, uh, what was Snowy's phrase? Unless you're willing to put a lot of time and effort into it, then it could be a bad experience so the, the games that we're looking at are things like um well, I'm great. boutique mini games like um basically things like mythos where hi clive <laughs> ah, it's first. yay so yeah it's It's somewhat we looked at, but it was just. I think you needed to put a lot of time and effort into it. Could be wrong. So I'm just using some Ulf and Great to pick out the fingers. Is it just the fingers that he's got showing through a gloves? Just get the tips, just the tips of the fingers showing through, and then that will recess up. Yeah. Um, at the minute, my palette looks a mess. It is just. A usual palette it's got bits and pieces in it at the moment uh, my wet palette that I should be using is uh, currently sat here I've got I've got the uh, red grass miniatures one everlasting wet palette and I've also got the army painter one um, in fact you have a good show on that one because that would stop a lot of my yay wet palette yay still wet oh wow yeah trousers using a wet palette now <laughs> a lot of the times uh, when I'm painting I tend to just use the corner of the paint map that I'm using um, if you could actually see the state of my table you would see I used the table for many many moons uh, not good uh, in some occasions but yeah I need to get I could do with a half-sized one. I don't know. It, it just seems a my wet palette is a little big. If that makes sense. So, all done great on the face. 
both Angra is just one of those miraculous, very light colours from GW that just covers. Even for, I think it's just a lay paint, a lay paint, yeah. It has an amazing coverage. And a bit of muck on the end. Yeah. I think the good thing about some of the games that we have been directed towards um, things like again Mythos is uh, um, it's a sub £50 game and you're playing so you buy a faction and you buy the gubbins set which has got the rules and tokens and rulers and stuff like that in um, but basically we put an offer up last week and a few, few of the guys took it um, of uh, forty two pound buy in for the uh, the starter and the gubbins and stuff like that, and a couple of the guys took the offer. Um, and the copies of it are in. We now stock it, uh, so there is stock on Protec models now. It's not as cheap as that because obviously I had to get stock, um, which wasn't as cheap as the initial offer but it is still pretty cheap for a, a game that you can just get build play boom um, and that's a bit of what I'm looking for or I've been looking for Forty K you can basically put an army down on the table but that army can take months to paint So uh, I've picked. I've got Marvel Crisis. I've got most of the Marvel Crisis stuff, including scenery packs. You can probably see the truck to my left when it's on full screen. Um, but I was getting. I got myself a bit worried about. Oh, I'm not going to have anything to play. Nothing's painted. Stuff like that. So I chose a list with the help of Mr. Tomo and. Just went, you know what? I'm gonna go with the Black Order. Thanos, my favourite character. Boom, yeah, done. So I've got Black Dwarf is um, painted and ready to go. Ebony Moor is built. Uh, built some of the others today as well. So I've got. Um, yeah, I know. So I've got Proxima built, Corvus built, so I'll get them painted up as well. So let's have some, um, where's the thinners? Good evening, Mr. Christian, welcome. Yeah, you and technology don't really mix. It's good to see you. It's good to see you're on the other side of the stream. Stee is one of our... Uh... What? That is disgraceful. Disgraceful. So yeah, got the got the white down there now. Let's have the blue on the underside. Oh, 
Oh, that's why Mr. Christian's turned up to steal my loyal subscribing viewers and stuff like that. again on this try not to choke children what? you coughing because yeah, you sprayed it so smoky in here I haven't sprayed anything I did before the stream well that was just cleaning can you get me a can of pepsi please thank you Fingers done. Would you like anything else? Um, no, I'm good. Thank you. Stay. It's Padme. It's a very bright Padme. Oh, and it's very warm. I was considering getting clones. A few of these will tell you. I was, I was going to uh, turn to the dark side even more so. <laughs> have you where you're up to on Clone Wars have you finished it yet I won't spoil it then. Um, I went when when they released it. I'll go. I'll do the uh, the giveaway when they released it. I went back to season one, started watching it all, and I only just finished it last night. And I've started. I forgot the name of it now. I've started Rebels again. Do you know how I was watching Rasters and um, if it hadn't been for Snowy on Discord with me at the same time, I would have got away with it. But uh, I actually replied to Rasta by saying, just talking naturally to him. And yep, that. <sighs> no, I would. I, I wanted to see all of it back right back from the start I'd watched bits and pieces so I just went straight through everything started right from the right from the start again and thoroughly enjoyed it and I would recommend it to anyone um, I'm doing rebels and then I'm doing resistance again I've watched bits and pieces of rebels and I've watched bits and pieces of resistance so here we go tonight's giveaway so we will have a um, a raffle in five minutes tangled and look at that Dale appears thank you Dale for the donation so um, there is three raffle prize oh god go to the, out, the bigger version there is three pr raffle prizes tonight as usual, as uh, three sets of cards. The cards are Ducktales. Oh, I love Ducktales. Um, we have Iden Verso as a quick build card. We have the calibrated laser targeting. Uh, calibrated targeting. 
the yeah, calibrated laser targeting and Delta 7 cards. I know I'm winding you up. Um, then f the Legion side of stuff we have the Legion Trooper, the DLT 19X Sniper, and D. H447 sniper card. Oh, move them up a bit. Uh, and then Force Chalk and Saber Throw. So anyone who enters tonight can win that. It's going to be a hundred ticket, a hundred credits for a ticket. Um, and anyone, uh, any follower, I should say. Sorry, people, because it does only trigger off followers. So you have to be a follower. And that's what you can win. Ad break. So if you are a subscriber and you win one of those three, we will throw in a bonus of the regional, sorry, not regional, the prime championship uh, Darth Vader card. So again, we have three of them. So if you win one of these and you are a subscriber, I'll throw one of them in. If you donated tonight, like, um, one, two, three of you have, have three, three, two, three, three of you have tonight. So any of the three people so far, and you can donate right up until the end of the, uh, um, raffle to be in with that. You will get the choice of... A acrylic shield upgrade by fully modded lighting a midnight by fully modded lighting or a ZZ by fully modded lighting there is no wood for you Stephen there's acrylic thank you for the tip Egan so um, I'd say yeah that's uh, that's what we've got going. We've got two minutes and I'll open it. I'll just double check everything's up and running. Proper, probably, properly. Uh, I'll just close my wet palette. So, um, Mr. Christian should even have some. Um, Uh, what's it called because because you subscribed you should um have what's it called uh imperial credits so you should also be able to enter mr christian so streamlabs uh, oh new panels stop moving things on me uh Giveaways. Custom. Right. Tonight's giveaway is Wednesday night giveaway. 30 minutes from the time that I start it. Permission for everyone. Uh, timer is enabled for 30 minutes. Tickets are a hundred tickets each. 33. That's fantastic. I've also got a, um, a thing coming up here that we've got six on YouTube. This probably is one of our best um, to date. So yeah, ticket costs are 100. Maximum tickets are 10. Um, then 10, yeah, 10 tickets per user. Subs will get an extra ticket and you must be a follower to win. Um, the Streamlabs is something totally different, uh, Egan. Basically, when you go onto their site, they give you the option to go um, to join Streamlabs Pro. And I think some people have done it in the past. I did it when I subscribed to Warlord's channel. Um, I clicked, I basically clicked to donate. Um, ten pound to warlords, and then it came up in a box after. Um, and if you contact Streamlabs, you can get it reimbursed. They will just reverse it. You just ask. You just say you 
made a mistake I did um, it basically gives you Streamlabs Pro which gives you bits and pieces other than what we do um, but that's them that's um, not via us unfortunately uh, so tick yeah, tickets 100 10 per user max 10 must be a follower to win and subscriber bonus ticket one so that's saved and if we get the other five pound i will do a dice giveaway as well on top of the three prizes so the the first name out of the hat will be a dice choice so a bit eager craig a bit eager Yeah, it, you've just got to keep an eye on it. Um, once you know where it is, you don't do it again. So, the giveaway is starting now. <laughs> Everyone's too quick. Uh, and you need a space in between. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Five straight in there in less than 10 seconds we had 40 tickets yeah try not to put the spit try to put the space in no the oh that's not good make sure you're safe mate eight people as usual if you're not around uh, I'll message you there you go Craig's got his six tickets ten users 70 tickets that's pretty good going so again that's that's the dice if we get the extra five of tonight that's the dice for the giveaway it's either a set of x-wing dice or it's a set of very very ve i can't believe that no one has picked the legion dice yet because um we've got three sets of these in other than the ones for the giveaway uh, we've had three sets of these legion dice in and they are fetching like 70 pound a set for the legion ones um joe these are paul's dice that's are you sure you want these fox <laughs> yeah shiny dice mate uh, that is 15 blanks in a row. A crit and a... Uh, there we go. Yeah, hopefully they're a lot more luckier for people. Uh, yeah, I, th I think the paint's missing off of those as well. Um... So, X-Wing dice, the usual. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Double crit hit. So, um, yeah. Uh, Evade. Well, there's paint on them ones. Wow. Eh, back to normal. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, as I say, these are... Um, last year's regional black dice for X-Wing. And this season's that no one's played for yet because um, the kits are halfway between coming out and not coming out. Uh, we managed to get some from Italy and some from America. 
these are they like hen's teeth and everyone seems to have gone for the uh, x-wing dice we've had three sets of x-wing dice go um when we've had the choice of both so hopefully if we get the extra fiver um someone might get the chance to actually pick the right ones pick the right ones guys uh, and th I don't know if I showed you, but thanks to fully modded lighting and K in particular, well, K, it is K's thing. Um, we still, and I know Craig mentioned the difference between uh, how many X Wing um, promos we do and how many. Uh, uh, legion promos we do this is the reason so this is the box of promos for the giveaways so that is all ffg card for x-wing some down the side this is all fully modded lighting stuff that they've given us and a couple of bits that little bunch there is the legion stuff the Legion promos are so much harder to get hold of, unfortunately. I am trying. Uh, I even... I usually have a limit on what I can pay for stuff. But... Um, to get a bulk lot of Legion cards for this, uh, we had to go a little bit above and beyond. So... 31 viewers on the uh, this, this side of it along. I need to see um, view account. Can I add this is where everything blows up and everything burns down and goes in massive amounts of flames. Um might open this up again in another tab I'm gonna see if I can put up the because now we're streaming to both I wonder if we can put a view account Nice. Um, look at this live control. It's a delicate ecosystem. <laughs> it can be at times. So there you go. We now have both showing. Um, let me just go to the other ones because I have a fit. Yeah, I knew that would have happened. Uh, backing. Live backing. Copy. On the go, live editing of a stream. You can't beat it. Close up, you can have a look at CAD. Yeah, it's the problem with the studio lights that we've got now. When you do anything white, it does tend to flare a lot. Back in delete. Yay! We're all good. Look at that technology doing things 
fuck's sake. Motorbike flying past. Um, text color. Text color. There we go. And thanks, Dan, for the five pound tip, which means we're doing a dice giveaway. So, cheers, guys. Uh, I know, uh, sorry, Foxy, well, I was talking to Foxy earlier, and we've been talking about, you've got the uh, exclamation in the wrong place, don't <laughs> yeah, there you go, uh, let's see how long we've got left, we still have 20 minutes left, um, so, do you know we're on about the... We have ooh, price tag. Um, been looking at a lad who's been painting for Artis Opus and their dry brushes, and he's been painting some scenery, and the the scenery looks fantastic. And he's just using these huge dry brushes, and it's a whole new technique. It's uh, stippling and a few other bits and pieces so when I delivered the display board to beanies I picked up um, war cry scenery do you know that feeling you have when um, you've bought something and I've opened it now so I can't return it um, and then you find another copy of it in the garage Hello, Matt. So basically, um, the for what it's called. Have you entered the? Yep, yeah, you've entered. So I basically bought this to do some. Um, yeah, I've got the bits to play. I've, I've got a team up there somewhere, and I did say I would play this. But this is. I've solely bought this to do to try and learn that painting technique. Um, it's got base cards, it's got the map in, and it's got all of the tar uh, cards in. So I will be playing it. I think this is the second piece of scenery, the second one of these that I've bought anyway. So these are the bits that I want to paint up. Um, but I also want to learn that technique. And I think that's the walls that he uses. So there's a, there's a few for me to practice on, and then some big brute. Uh, Sigma. So yeah, I'm going to have a pop at painting that, um, and see if I can copy the technique, and see if I can pick up anything, um, any other bits and pieces. The, the artist Opus brushes... Uh, I've just been using them as normal dry brushes. <laughs> That's what she. Uh... <laughs> so I can't remember if you get three or four in the set. I'm almost certain that you get three, and it's those three. So you get a, a large, a medium, and a small. Um, but then I've gone and got the extra large and the techniques that he uses there you go Foxy that's what we're on about you get there you go it's reactivated that's the water um, basically they just constantly do that but they've got um they either use the D series one and they just rub off it till they can see what it's like and then they go at the the uh, uh, the actual board. But I do have I think it might be down here. I've got the big one. 
the big board and I did try it did I try it on the, I don't know whether I tried it on the stream and failed miserably um, but we were just messing around trying different bits and then I, I have put a wash over this afterwards by the looks of it but uh, I need to work out how the, the technique is left field to say the least and I don't understand it yet but I really want to learn I really really want to learn uh, and I picked up two of these sets they're not cheap um, the, the set of three is I want to say £60 uh, and I'm almost certain it's £60 The reason I want to learn the technique and basically have it as, as part of my uh, repertoire is, and this is the D-Series box, it does come in a really nice box, um, it comes all stamped to say, so there is four, so you get that, you get a D-Series, that's cleaner, must be a tiny one in here somewhere, or I've lost one. Oh, my daughter has it. Oh no, there it is. So you get the extra small one as well, which is tiny. So that's what you get for your um, sixty pound. Now, in thirty-two days, I believe, Army Painter are releasing their version of it. So, I want to learn in time for that coming out because I want to do a comparison between the two sets of brushes, see what the difference is. Is there any preference to using the Art Opus stuff over the um, much cheaper? I've, um, I'm hoping that there is a considerable difference. Um, but unless I know how to use them. Um, they're just going to be normal dry brushes for me sort of thing. So if I can learn to use them in the time that I've got, I'm gonna be chuffed. And that is one of the uh, things. And I dare say, if we spoke to Artis Opus, um, I don't think we've messaged them yet, have we, Foxy? Uh, wow. 15 users and 98 tickets and we have um, just checking something yeah it does mix them properly don't think so see that could uh, we'll need to add that one to the list um, raffle 262 you can only have 10 one of these days I'll forget to put it on old frick and you will get 262 tickets more in um, something that we did get oh look that's one that's one of the part of the gubbins from mythos it's some sort of targeting uh, I need to learn how to play it. So, um, along the thing of brushes, we have got the uh, Da Vinci series brushes in to test. So, Da Vinci sent us, yeah, um, three sets of brushes. So, the one on a single set we're going to do as a giveaway. So, they're going to come out as, obviously, we've got the box. And we're going to do a, a giveaway for these Da Vinci brushes. Not sure when yet, but it's going to be soon-ish. Um, we'll, we'll probably do a full-on painting giveaway. Where it'll be like maybe some paints, maybe some washes, maybe some bits and pieces to do with just painting rather than the cards like um, James was mentioning. Now, the other side of it is I've got two sets of these now. So I'm using one, which I need to take out actually. So I, at the moment I'm using the Series 22. 
Um, and when Foxy comes round next, there is a set of 35s here for him. So Foxy's been very, very, very helpful over the last couple of months. Um, so as part of what we've been doing, I'm going to give him these ones to test. And then he can let me know what he thinks of them. And just remind me, Foxy, when it does, when you pop around next, because I will forget. Yeah, he's been amazing. It, the, as some of my close friends know, I struggle with English. Um, it's like heightened dyslexia half the time. I, I'm halfway through typing a sentence, and I'm three sentences in front of what I've actually thought about doing. Um, so... He's been sorting it out for me, and he's been doing my English English good for me. Um, whereas, I'm also probably just crap at English as well, which is part of it. And again, I've I've had help from a few guys: um, Snowy, who's ran off; Dale, who's been looking. D Dale figured as an algorithm out or a, a thing to do with algorithms, and we've been trying that, and we've been getting some good results from it. So quite quite pleased with that um also something that we have done this week we let's how long how long have we got nope that one that one we've got 10 minutes left uh we did a um a bit of a limited edition run of some of our products <laughs> yeah um, so these are our ring adapters they basically go on to your old space marines to make them legal or old figures to make them legal uh, so that's that changes a 25mm old style into a 32mm so you can use it in the current issue so what we've done is we've done some chili red limited edition ones there is a limited run. Uh, my daughter Zoe is printing out one batch that are up on the website now. And once that batch has run out, they're gone for good. So we've done them for the 40k converters. And let's see if I can do a close up on the, the colour. The colour is, it's a translucent red. It's not perfectly clear, but... It's just what we all call chili red off some of the um, stuff that Cogga 2 did for us. So, and it just, it really looks nice. What we also have done is people have been asking for clear bases and stuff like that. So we've done a chili red set to replace the bases on Legion. So the way we were looking at it is... Um, these make it look these make the figures look like a hologram uh, and if you were to like paint them then stick them on without basing it it just looks like a hologram and you, you're commanding it from um, wherever you're commanding it from so we have a, again a very limited run of the Legion ones the colour is really nice yeah, Oh, um, and Paul um we also have a limited run of our pot holders. Red hot chili bases, yeah. <sighs> I didn't even think of doing that, Tomo. Um Now, these are, again, the limited. We're only doing 50 of these. We were going to do them as if you spent over £20, we would give you a free one. Uh, but we're going to do that with a different colour. Um, so anyone out there that may have got one of these for spending over twenty quid this week, then you may have got a bit of a uh, a bit of a more limited edition than the other one. Um, but yeah, they, these are fantastic. So you pop the pot open and you twist it round, and without spilling it, oop, without spilling it, the lid holds open on that. So, but it also holds it at such a point where it doesn't dribble and stuff like that. Now, we have, again, I've got them. I've been using them for ages. As you can tell, there's ink all over them. And I've got green ones. 
exactly the same thing. I love them. I've got five or six kicking about. Chili Red Limited Edition. Only ever going to do 50 of them. Um, there is 47 left available because Paul's got one. <laughs> uh, and two sold today. Ooh, and I broke one. Um, but yeah, they're really good. They are really good pieces of kit. That's it. I've got the red one. I've got the green one in that one. I've got the green one in that one. I've got two green ones in Zoe's bedroom because she hasn't brought them back yet. Um, I've got the green one for the new... Hey, look at this. Tesseract Glow. New from GW. Don't know how I got that. We were going to do a play and a demo with this, but I'm going to save that for tomorrow night. Um, we have... Uh, I've got some more Indominus to paint for the store. So I was given some of the new paint to make it... <laughs> no, it was just new paint to make it a bit quicker. Some more. Um, I got the Tesseract Glow. I got the Canapex Alloy. Um, and I got the Armour Shade. As I say, this is what I was on about before. We ch we swapped to bottles because I tend to put this stuff through the airbrush. But these are Beanie's stores uh, own. So I've just borrowed them to get their... Uh, <laughs> Their final bits done on the Necrons for them. So, four minutes left. 99 tickets. 15 entries. And we are definitely doing the dice this afternoon. Or tonight, even. Do you know what? I had a bag with all of them in. Oh, I don't know where to put it. <laughs> Welcome back, Kate. We've been talking about you lords. Look at that for a colour for the, the rings and stuff, Kate. You, I don't know what to pick you. Imperial stuff. That's the only one that you get the choice of. Oh, that sounds ominous. Um, so yeah, okay, that's... How would that look with an LED underneath it? Cool. Is that the set with the thing for me? thing on it uh. sweet You will also have some light shopping to do after your stream. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That is very ominous. You. Um, if it's what Foxy's dealing with, then 9 out of 10 times, it's going to be good news. Um, we have... Um, bits and pieces in the pipeline. As I say, we've got Parabellum Games, who have graciously sent us a couple of hundred pounds worth of bits and pieces. I put them in the garage. I should have kept them out for today. Um, I should have done my first box opening. Sweet, good news. Um, so the one, the imminent ones that we've got on the 
Burner are uh, Parabellum, which is ongoing. Army Painter, great guys, sent me this amazing black mat that is so nice on my desk. Um, I'm going to be doing loads of stuff for them. We've done the walls, we've done bits and pieces so far. We've got other bits and pieces. Um, the tank needs to be done either this week or next week. And then, wow, um, the things that we've looked at. Um, I was going to show it off today. We've already mentioned it, haven't we, as well? LV. There it is. I knew I had it. So, LV427 do a modular gaming train. Oh, Sanctum as well. Yeah. So, the LV427 um, do basically alien esque. 21 seconds, Snowy, take the space out. Quick. Take the space out the one. Ten, nine. Wow. <laughs> That's actually quite bad because it's still counting down on my side here. So. Snowy, you got your tickets. It says there you, you received two tickets. You're fine. So yeah, LV427. Uh, LV247? 427, because 426 is the aliens um, planet. We looked at this the other day. So they do modular gaming train. Um, and we've got... This is their freebie piece. It's even got the Wayland Utani uh, L1, level 1. Um, this is their free sample. Now they give this away on their website. <laughs> um, and we, with the uh, aliens game coming up, we are quite interested in doing some collaborations with them. They've sent us some bits and pieces. Um, bits of information are going backwards and forwards. And, and Foxy's been sorting stuff out with them. So it could be one of them. It could be, if it was really quick, it could have been the one that we've just mentioned. Uh, as Opus. I, I'll have a look when I, I, I finish. It could be fun. Um, so, man, that's that one. And we have, right. So, again, absolutely. Yes, it. they do a lot. If you go onto their website, it is fantastic. I re I'd really love a kill team board, and I think I might do a kill team board um, out of their stuff because it'd be quite, it'd be very busy in getting round stuff. Um, it does look very interesting though. So, back to the giveaway, and LV427 or whoever it may be, I will sort in a moment. So, obviously, first is. Le Dis. Um So yeah, 17 users, 105 tickets in the pipeline. So our first winner who gets the choice of one or the other dice. One pack of the other. I'm not just going to make you buy the uh, win one. So the dice go to... Paul, well done, Paul. You were only here the other day. Which one, Paul? X-wing dice or Legion dice? This is gonna kill him. <laughs> well, is it going to be the nice shiny X-wing dice? for Jacob or is he going to take the clear dice for him Boop. god he's so slow
<laughs> Legion, please. Yeah, oh, that, that's so cruel. Wait till I see your youngster next time and show him what dice you could have let him have. <laughs> um, yeah, mate, no problem. Um, they're put to one side for you. Um, Egan, just so you're aware, we do a little bit of trade in X-Wing dice. So the X-Wing dice will still be around for some time till these are all gone. Yes. Uh, in the UK, I may be known for trading um, promos across the board. And even though Foxy is very disappointed and upset, what he doesn't realise is I've got another set of the uh, Legion dice as well. So, we will have another set of Legion dice coming up. We don't split them. We do singles, but uh, we do pairs, but not singles. So, let's get back to the other the card packs. First pack. They're all on our uh, eBay. Uh, there's plenty on there. Pack one. Winner goes to... Craig. Going to have to make the screen very small to see who's um, donated and such likes tonight. So, da, 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 da. Flaky, boo, boo. Fierce, Egan, Doom. so Craig is a subscriber so he gets the Vader and he also gets the pack so if Craig wants well first time well done mate yes um, I remember him subbing And it is a <laughs> it <coughs> it's the first pack that after you saying we could do with more um, Legion stuff in that it has quite a lot of Legion stuff in. So uh, drop us a message Facebook or through Twitch and I'll get them sent out to you. Don't put your address in the mess in the chat. And our second winner. Is Mr. Christian, who is also subbed. I can see that because he subbed less than an hour ago. But again, he's not a donator, so. Steve Christian. Go, boxes, go. I think he's gone. Oh no, beginner's luck. Um, yeah, we were discussing this the other week. <laughs> we've had um, we had a lot of people of this a lot of the same people winning in the early days uh, and that turns out to be when I looked back through there was like five people he sniffed the prizes out um, we had five people entering the raffles and there was only like there was half the time there was five prizes to give out <laughs> um, and final one for the evening is Foxy wow <laughs> then again Foxy seems to be winning every <laughs> that, wow you actually posted that long before I saw it come up here came for the mini stayed for the puns Well, it, it back in the day when there was only five people entering every time and there was five prizes, it was the same five people, yes. Uh, but now, um, F Foxy seems to be on a lucky streak. Um, Craig's first time, Steve's first time, Paul, yeah. 
as a let's have a quick look. Um, yeah, they've also uh, do, do, do. Um, it's not going off number of tickets either because obviously Mr. Christian only put two in. Um, Foxy did put eleven in, like. So, it it is yeah. It comes and goes. You do get the chances of. Um, we do run other ones, just impromptu ones in the other streams as well. So Wednesday night is our main one. It's the night that we will try and push you for a, as much subs and donations as possible. Whereas the Foxy the Overachiever, um, the rest of it, we can slip into um, like the paintbrushes and stuff like that are more of a, a bonus for you guys. And I don't stipulate stuff like a sub only or stuff like that. If we get some of the big prizes in, we may have to put sub only. Uh, which is when most of you can get it free from um, Prime and stuff like that. It's not such a big ask, or the four dollar or four quid it costs a month. But uh, yes, that's it. Is it is a horrible? No, it's, it's a good system. We've used it since day one. Rasta's used it since day one, and it, it is good. It's fair. Um, oh. not sure why that is, mate. We've had, we do get quite a lot of resubs because it comes through on, um, it comes up in the chat, and people get such emotes. Uh, oh, Foxy, some of the new emotes are in. Yes, thank you for watching, Egan. Um, and yeah, there is there is a load of new emotes in there. Thank you, Foxy, for doing that. That might have been last week, and I just missed it. So, again, thank you, everyone, tonight. Um, it's been great. These two are partially done. I'll get some bits and pieces, and might do might finish them off tomorrow night, uh, or I might finish them off during the day, and grab something. Oh, I still love the, I love the Vader one. Um, yeah, we'll get some bit some more bits on the table to paint tomorrow night, uh, and I'll see about doing a maybe the painting giveaway tomorrow night. Carvus Glaive. Uh, we we do have um, the pair of them, so that's what I got. To finish my team at the moment, thanks to uh, Tomo's help, is they're the three that I've got. Um, I do have a Boba Fett that needs painting for a commission, even though I'm not doing commissions anymore. Um, needs to do on a commission. So I've got a couple of bits. I need to finish blooming him off as well. He's nearly done. So, yeah. I've got loads to be getting on with, and... Right, if you find it, let me know and we'll have a look at it. I'll see if I can do it live on stream. So, again, sorry about waffling for the last 10 minutes. If anyone can, please go and um, like and subscribe on YouTube, Facebook, everything. Anything that, especially if it doesn't cost you any money, giving us a few clicks, a couple of likes on the videos, really really does help our youtube is picking up and picking up and picking up to the point where um we might we might consider doing a patron account um and doing some stuff th things like the promo cards um that i need to speak to mr uh, 
Mr. K about. Uh, we might do some sort of patron type thing for that. We'll we'll see. But if you if you can kill me, thank you. So thank you everyone. Please like, share, subscribe, do all the usual stuff. Um, we will be back on tomorrow from seven. Uh, and then I will I'll just check in with Rasta see what they're doing over the weekend And we might do one over the weekend as well, but I'm also going to do a couple of videos tomorrow and Friday as well, so Thank you everyone for watching It's been great catches all soon